In this heated election year, Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell wants to put each senator on the record for what Republicans say are extreme views on abortion. They're trying to defend something that's fundamentally indefensible. Senator Ben Sass tells CBN News his Born Alive Abortion Survivors Protection Act does exactly that. This bill is really simple. It says that if a baby survives an abortion, she has a fighting chance at life, and we have the obligation to make sure she gets the same care that any other baby would get at that gestational stage. And is needed for this reason. Right now, all that's really prohibited is if a baby survives an abortion, you can't take a pillow and put it over her face and smother her to death, but you can walk away from her and put her on a cart and wheel her down a hallway and put her in a closet and leave her to die of exposure over six or eight or ten hours. But Democrat Minority Leader Chuck Schumer tells CBN News this law already exists and calls the bills extreme and dishonest. On the Born Alive Abortion Survivors Protection Act, Senator Sass argues this is needed because under the current law, while you can't outright kill a baby breathing outside the womb, you can neglect it. What is your we, we voted on this before. It was defeated. We and Senate and there's a law in 2002 that is on the books, current law, current law that covers everything SAS is talking about. It's a play to the hard right base. The American people don't support it. Three Democrats joined Republicans to vote on the bill that protects babies born alive after botched abortions. Democrats Joe Manchin and Bob Casey also joined most Republicans on the bill prohibiting abortions after five months of pregnancy. But Republicans Susan Collins and Lisa Murkowski did not. We know at 20 weeks the science is there, if not earlier, that there's a uh, pain capability of a fetus. Republicans believe bringing Democrats out in the open on abortion will help them in 2020. Democrats believe these votes cater to the GOP's hard right base and argue the American people will see through that. Reporting from Capitol Hill, Abigail Robertson, CBN News.